What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna learn three different ways to set up Llama 2 in your local machine. All right. If you don't know what Llama 2 is, Llama 2 is this model uh, released by Meta, and that essentially uh, the 70 billion parameter chat version uh, competes with ChatGPT in terms of performance. So it's an amazing model that was made open source so that people can use, and they have been using to build all sorts of amazing applications. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting it up with different frameworks, with different platforms, with the, in different ways. The first one is we're going to be doing the Python bindings for Loma CPP. So it's the project called Loma CPP Python, which is based on this project, which is the Loma CPP project, which allows you to run Loma models on your local machine by applying 4-bit quantization, which is the, a technique to reduce the precision um, of the data type that represents the, um, the, uh, model locally on your machine so that, you know, it can occupy less space in your machine. And what we're going to be doing is pretty easy. Now, all we have to do to set that up, um, is just first we'll install it. We'll install it with Lama CPP Python. There's more specific information in the documentation about, uh, how we can set it up with GPU support, acceleration and your Mac, Linux, Windows, etc. But you can just run this, uh, in essence, and then you're going to have to have the model install, uh, downloaded locally on your machine. And then you can run this to import it, import the Llama class from the Llama CPP Python, uh, repo and start to use. And then all we got to do is make sure that we have the model downloaded in our machine. Now, if you don't have this model or you don't know where to find it, don't worry. You can come to Hugging Face and we can just say Llama GGuff download. So you're going to find a bunch of models here. There you go. Let's come here. And oh, let me see, where did I get this one from? There we go. So if you go to Hugget Face, I will put a link in the description for this one. So you can, you can just come here, click it, download this model. You can see the RAM requirements to run these models in their respective size. Everything is perfectly explained here. So you can just do that and make sure that it's downloaded in your models folder. Okay. So once you've done that, all you got to do now is set up the Llama class, give it the model path and you're good to go, which is amazing, right? How easy that is. You have to give the models, the model path. We run it. And when you run it, you're going to see an output that looks like this. And once you've seen that output, now you're ready to run prediction. So let's run the prediction. We can say something like, uh, let me just set up something here. Yeah. So let me just set up something here. So we're going to say Llama, uh, what is the, uh, capital of friends? Sure. Let's follow the help copilot suggestion. What is the capital of friends? And it takes a few seconds. And there you go. Now, when we, when we run the model, we get an out that looks like this, which is going to be a dictionary with a bunch of keys. Now, some of these keys are, you know, the Unix timestamp for when the output was created, the path to the model. And then this is the one that we care about, which is the choices key inside of which there will be a list containing all the outputs that were generated. And then inside of that list, we're going to have dictionaries of which we're going to select the text key to get the output. So, uh, what would that look like? We're going to say output is equal to LLM and we're going to say, uh, Tell me a joke about machine learning. Okay. So we're going to run that. Okay, great. 
Now the rent, we can say output, and then we can say choices, and then we can say zero, and then we can say text to get the actual output from the model. And there we go. This is the weirdest output I've ever seen. I don't know what this is, but remember guys, this is the 7 billion chat. This is not some fancy uh, fine-tuned version or anything like that. This could be the last into the fine algorithm words. All right, so the model is very bad apparently at telling jokes. So let's ask another thing to, to do a more interesting example. So let's say output is equal to LLM, and then we can say Lord is handling plus then. So now let's generate a response. And now let's say output choices zero text. And then there we go. 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. And I don't know what is this output here doing, but there you go. We get a response. It's not amazing, but it works. I mean, the framework is amazing, right? But the outputs, well, this is the 7 billion uh, parameters, so maybe not so great. Okay, this is the first one, right? That's the first setup that we can do. Now, let's do a second setup. Now, for the second setup, we're going to use a project called Olama. Right? You guys probably heard of Olama. Olama is this amazing project that allows you to run Lama 2 models locally on your machine with an extreme, like, it's just so easy to set it up. It's almost ridiculous. So if you go to their downloads, downloads page or whatever, you can find here the options to download the Mac OS, Linux, Windows, etc. So use the one that makes sense for you. Mine is Mac OS. So that's the one that I downloaded. So just click download, install it. And once you've done that, just directly from here, what you're going to be able to do is if I change here to my terminal, there we go. So I'm going to make a bit here. Now what you can do is you can say Olama run Lama Chi. Literally, that's all you can do. And then when you run it, now you can interact with the Lama Chi model. If it's the first time that you're running Olama in your machine, the first time you try to do this, it will download the Lama Chu model, right? And then you can ask whatever you want to ask. So you can say, you know, what is the capital of Canada? And then it takes a few seconds, but still, it's pretty fast. And then the capital of Canada, Ottawa, and then it says some weird things as well. But whatever, it does give you the response. Now, the cool thing about Olama is that their CLI is extremely intuitive and extremely simple. And you can serve it. You can create models. You can do all sorts of things. For example, I have, you can run different models. So I can say Olama run Mistral, which is another model I have here. And, you know, what is the best framework to program your machine learning? Uh, that's a controversial question. And I'm running a different model now because Olema allows you to do that and it's just amazing. And then it gives me an output, answer full pi, or circular, yeah, whatever. Those are the um, traditional responses that you would give to something like that. So this is just amazing. So yeah, Olema is pretty great. Now I'm going to put here a few things. I'm going to put here, guys, the reference to all of these things that I'm talking about. So I'm going to put here the reference to Olama, obviously, to the download page so that you guys can go there and check it out, as well as the reference to the um, to the original release blog post by Meta. I'm going to put it here, and this notebook will be made available to you guys, so don't worry about it, as well as Lama CPP and the Lama CPP Python binding, okay? So, so far, we've looked at two options. We've looked at Lama CPP Python, as you guys saw, extremely easy to set it up. We looked at Olama, which is another one that is extremely easy to set it up. Uh, the cool thing about Olama is that you can do something like this. Check it out. You can, um, you can set up, let's set up here, um, set up Olama with LangChain. Now, 
if you guys don't know what LangChain is, LangChain is this amazing framework to create chains of prompts and interact with large language models through these uh, useful abstractions. So essentially, you're abstracting away the model and a few parameters, and you can connect prompts together. You have prompt templates. You, have, you chain stuff together. It's an impressive, uh, impressive framework. Now, LangChain has a uh, API for Olama, which is, I think, called Chat Olama or something like that. So I will check that out. Let's see. Chat Olama LangChain. Let's take a look. There you go. So let's take a look at the Chat Olama option. Okay. There you go. So if you have Olama installed locally on your machine and you have LangChain installed locally, we can come here, we can do this, you see, and now we can uh, query the model, it's a god, I don't know, it's like something, and maybe, ah, yeah, okay, I got to call predict, all right, what is the best programming language, best asking controversial questions, there we go. So as you guys can see, now I'm running a prediction with the Ulama model, right? Which is the Ulama True model. However, downloaded and set up through the interface of the Ulama product that you guys just saw, but using within LangChain. This is kind of neat. Like LangChain kind of like is, is doing this thing of absorbing other frameworks that are uh, being successful. And now look at that. We can get a wonderful output in just three lines of code, as you guys can see here. So you can use Olama in your CLI, but you also have a Python version of Olama running in LangChain. So you can do that. But that's another one. And uh, yeah, I will leave the link uh, for all of those things so that you guys can check it out. So don't worry about that. And also you will have access to this notebook that we are building together right here. Okay. So now let's set up Lama Chu with Hugging Face. And for this one, I'm going to use the notebook that I already have set up for this one because I had some issues running on my Mac, this Rugin Face version. So I had to use a RunPod instance to run it in a 3090 machine, like a RTX 3090 GPU. But uh, just try it and see it for yourself. So the first thing is, so Hugging Face is amazing, right? We all know Hugging Face is one of this, it's this amazing framework where you can run large language models and you can run all sorts of models, vision models, text models, etc. And one of the things they did is first, they set up a really nice demo for you to run Lama 2, the 70 billion parameter chat version, which was the one that was fine tuned for conversational context. And it's amazing. You can just come here in the demo. I'll leave a link in the description again. So let me just put it there again so that you guys have access. I'm going to have it in this notebook here where it's going to combine everything that we talked about. And I can just say stuff like, uh, okay, so write me some Python curve for and loading a sign of some toy data set whatever like some random python code and there we go we get a wonderful beautiful output as you guys can see here and yeah this demo is great however if you want to run locally on your machine what you're going to do is you're going to come here to uh let's come here yeah so if you want to run this locally on your machine what you're going to have to do is so first in your Jupyter Notebook, if you have a GPU running, I run NVIDIA SMI so that I can take a look at the specs of GPU and CPU running on the machine, okay? So as you can see, when I ran this, which is not my current machine, I ran it on a um, on RunPod on a machine that was RTX 3090. And I'll put a link in the description for RunPod, but this is not going to be a, a tutorial about that. You have 24 gigs of GPU, which is pretty amazing. Whatever, the setup is pretty easy. So all you have to do is you have to install the essential Hugging Face project and Hugging Face packages. So Transformers, Torch, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio, and Accelerate, which allows it to, you know, accelerate stuff on your machine. 
using a uh, hugging face. And then you're going to use the hugging face CLI and log in with the token that you generate on hugging face. So hugging face is going to give you an access token, right? And don't forget that that access token, if I'm not mistaken, it has to be associated with the permission to download Lulich models. I don't know if that permission is still going on. I'm sure that you can uh, download Lulich models. And once you've done that, right? Once you've done all that setup, you're going to import transformers, auto tokenizer, transformers, and torch. You're going to give the name of the model or the repo in the name or just the name of the model, which is what I'm doing here. This is a reference to how that model is stored in Hugger Face, okay? Because if I come, if I copy this, if I copy here and I put this here, we go to this is what we're accessing, okay, guys? This is what we access. We're accessing the Lama Chu 70 billion, 7 billion parameter chat, hugging face, HF, whatever. This is the guy we're accessing, okay? And now we're going to set up our tokenizer from the pre trained model that we are using from hugging face. And we're creating a pipeline with the Transformers package, just like we're seeing here. We're sending it to text generation. We're giving the model. We're setting the data type for our torch tensors. And we're uh, setting device map to auto so that tr the transformers, uh, the dot pipeline method uh, does it for us, the process of mapping the processing to the device. Okay. So then if you're running this for the first time, it's going to download a bunch of stuff, right? It's going to download the tokenizer config, the models. These things that they're downloading here are the things that are right. I'll show you guys. They are right here, as you guys can see. Okay. So those are the things that are being downloaded to your machine. And then we can say, okay, sequence is equal to pipeline. And then we give the prompt, as you guys can see here, this prompt, I think this is from the hugging, official hugging face tutorial, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just something random, like uh, recommend me some movie based on some other movie that I've watched. Then you can say, do sample equal true, top K equal one, number of sequences you want to return. Uh, you set up the IEOS token ID, which is the token ID for these uh, symbols that go around a text prompt in the output. And then you set the max length of the output from the model. In this case, I put 200. And then you loop over the sequences because it's going to be a list, apparently, if even if the uh, number of sequences is one. And then you print the output uh, by accessing the generated text key inside of the sequence dictionary, set dictionary inside that list. And then you get a result like the one that I got here. Okay. So yeah, Hugging Face is amazing. And they give some, uh, in the, um, I'm going to put a link to this blog post that I'm kind of like copying here. I'm going to come here where we're putting all of our, all of our suggestions and links and stuff. And um, yeah, so this, uh, let me just do this. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. And then I'm going to just copy it. Hug your face. Yeah, hug your face. Yeah, this is the, yeah, this is the blog post that I recommend you guys to check it out. I'm going to copy it, put it here as well. But I'm going to put a link in the description with all these references. So don't worry about it. So that you guys can check it out and look for yourselves and see more information on that. So this is pretty neat. Um, uh, sorry. Oh, there you go. And that's pretty much it. This is how to set it up with hugging face. I recommend you using, doing this with the GPU, doing this on a machine that actually, you know, it's powerful enough to run it, but yeah, uh, that's, that's how you do it. And, uh, let me see, uh, into the long run. So, so yeah, this is how this, these are three, maybe four ways to run a uh, Lama models locally on your machine. And I hope you guys just take this notebook, take these ideas and just go run it for yourselves and just check it out. Cause it's pretty amazing what you can do with these types of models. And in the future, I'm going to be covering a bunch of applications and things that are interesting to do with these. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.